again, it's Callum from Termos Chester and at the time of filming it is mid-October 2020. So you know what that means. Yep, it is Christmas as far as retail is concerned. So we've just had uh, our shipment of the first Christmas Eve blend of the year, which is Gareth and Hogarth's Seasonal Reserve 2020. Nice little tin with a cute little fox on it and on the back. Sorry, I've got a thing for foxes, I think they're really cute. Um, so, naturally, I'm getting straight in there and giving this a taste. So, I'll start off with what the tobacco is and then I'll talk about the flavour, because that's where things get relevant. So, the actual tobacco is a combination of light, dark and uh, flu-cured Virginias with Cavendish and some sun-cured Burley. All in all, tobacco is pretty mild. Not a huge component of the taste. But on to the casings. Now, I've got to be honest, Christmas blends have the tendency to be a bit samey over the years. I do them every year, I taste them every year, and I'm starting to get to the point where I kind of know what to expect. It's normally some combination of heavy, heavy cherry flavours, a bit of something vanilla, creamy, sometimes a bit boozy. Um, and sometimes um, a little bit of nut, but cherry and vanilla is the main sort of component a lot of the time. I know my own Christmas pudding blend did this, so really I'm part of the problem, but I don't make that anymore, so don't blame it on me, okay? But um, the end result is often something that smells basically like Christmas pudding and Christmas cake. So when I looked at the description of this and read that the casing was cherry, vanilla and almond, I'll admit I rolled my eyes a little, I figured more of the same, here we go again, it's always nice but it would have been cool to have something a bit different. However, when I opened the tin of this one I was genuinely taken aback because while it uses those tried and true flavours there's a real emphasis on the almond and it gives it a very marzipan-y, marzipan gives it the aroma of marzipan which comes through the, the strongest really and then the cherry there it's not the normal heavy black cherry it's much more like a wild cherry like a tart cherry almost and it smells like Bakewell tarts I like almost exactly I love it when tobaccos do this when you you know when you stick your nose in a tin or a jar or a bag or whatever and you smell something and it just triggers that exact bit in your brain and it just goes this is that other thing and that's what I got with this, completely Bakewell tart and really, really different to basically any other Christmas blend I've, I've encountered over the years. Uh, when it's actually lit, this carries on really nicely as well. The cherry becomes almost like a glacé cherry and that almondy taste really brings it out um, and it just carries on with this really sweet, noticeable, but not overwhelming, not cloying, um, Bakewell tart taste like really they should, should have just said it tastes like Bakewell tarts when they were um, doing the description because I think that might have drawn a few more people in to try it uh, but all in all it's brilliant and it's really different and it's been done really well the vanilla as is often the case it's not really too pronounced as an actual vanilla taste um, it just kind of adds this little bit of creaminess to it. But I always like that. I like to sort of like balance out sort of heavy, sweet, fruity flavours with something a bit creamy just to set it off. Um, and just as a last note as well, um, I've been yammering a bit, so I dare say I've gone out. Yeah, I've gone out. But um, I'd only opened this tin about half hour before I started filming this and it lit super easy. No need to dry it, no need to prepare it or anything. Just open the tin, get a big, deep uh, smell of the aroma and then stick it straight in your pipe and you are laughing. Um, definitely recommend trying it as you might have guessed from my enamoured rambling but it is a limited edition, uh, stocks are limited so that's why we're getting it out and early so if you do want some for Christmas it's well worth getting some where you can and from what I can tell the room aroma when it's burning is really pleasant as well. So you shouldn't have any complaints from anyone else who is around you at Christmas. So yeah, if you do want to try it, it's available as always at turbos.com. 
If you do try it, I hope you like it. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the other Christmas blends. If you like this different direction this one's got in, or if you prefer the more sorry, tried and tested style. And as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in the future. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Happy Retail Christmas. Cheers. Thank you.